Hey there YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix a leaking brake can. It's leaking on the service brake side in less time than it takes to replace an entire brake can and for about five or six dollars. Anyway, let's get to it. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is cage this brake. You may need to clean out where the cage bolt goes in order to get it in. You must make sure that it's fully inserted and turned 90 degrees after it's been inserted. Just make sure that the two teeth on the cage bolt are engaged in the park brake. Now we've got the brakes released on the trailer. So we don't have to run this nut all the way down by hand. But that bolt is now tight, which insulates the large spring on the park brake side. We've also got the brakes on the truck released, which also isolates that spring with air pressure. And we've got the brakes backed off. I'm gonna make sure that this park brake spring does not launch this half of the brake can off when we take this band clamp off. Now you'll notice that there's two clamps on this brake can. This one is the park brake side. Any brake can that's been made in the last long time does not have a removable clamp. It's crimped. You do not want to mess with this side. There is a big bad spring in here that can seriously hurt you. This is the only one that you want to touch. You want to position yourself on the back side of the axle out of the way when you remove this clamp just as an extra precaution. Here's your service brake diaphragm. You can see our hole in it right here. Check the spring behind the pad here and make sure it's not broken. And it's not, so we're good to go ahead and replace this diaphragm. You will likely find it helpful to pull the slack adjuster back and put a pair of vice grips on the rod in order to keep the small return spring compressed It'll make it a lot easier when you reinstall. You can set your new diaphragm on and then put your half can in place and then reinstall your band clamp. and then tighten down your nut. Remove your cage bolt. And reinsert your rubber plug. And that's all there is to it there, YouTube. Just follow a few simple steps. It's nothing really to be afraid of. You do have to be a little bit careful, but it's a very simple, quick, easy process, and it only costs about five or six bucks. You know, this is the way I'll just about always go with repairing a service brake leak if I'm out away from the shop. I will sometimes change an entire brake can when things start getting a little rusty or wore out and whatnot, but Generally, if I'm on the road and I end up with a uh, brake can leak, 
Then I'll generally always either put a half can on it or replace diaphragm just because it's a lot simpler. You don't have to mess with cutting the rod to length. You don't have to mess with the seized clevis pins and so on and so forth. It's just a simpler, quicker repair if you're doing it out in the field away from the shop where you don't have an oxyacetylene torch, you don't have grinders, you don't have chop saws, you know, things like that that make it easier to change an entire brake can. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Thank you to everybody that's liked my videos, commented, subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys very much, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Have a good day.